The reason why I wanted to get uh, Garrett on here in his take because he's worked with Opie. Now maybe it was a while ago, so we'll we'll consider that. But Opie's dog. been doing this new thing. I don't know if you guys have seen this. I don't know if he's doing it himself or he's got someone helping him out. But he's putting out these minute long, two minute long, thirty second long clips on YouTube, and it's all clickbaity titles. And he's just trying to get people to check out the show with it. So oh this God. is one, which is great because I didn't have to pull any clips. I just pulled the full episodes that he's putting up. So it makes <laughs> my life easier. Thanks, Opie. It makes my life easier. This one is called Enough. Kumio was going nowhere when I met him. Oh, God. Yeah. All right. So let's watch this and uh, we can get into it. Stop me anytime, too. Uh, good morning, Opie. You should forgive Anthony and go on his podcast. Would be so epic. Stop being a bitch and go and go work out. Thanks, Jim D. Yeah. I, no, I have no desire to do that. Um, the Anthony I knew. And I, I don't even know if I actually ever knew the guy. Um, <laughs> but the version of Anthony I thought I knew, I should say it that way, is long gone. So that's why that'll never, ever work. Uh, after Anthony left Sirius XM, because, you know. Some he, production going on. Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah, I wasn't expecting that. I Is seriously. that a Tesla coil? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wonder what uh, sound effect CD he pulled that from, <laughs> from his closet. Also, it's not long gone. It's long gone. Is it's it long <laughs> gone? It's so much funnier when he mispronounces words, though. Yeah. <laughs> and he does those voices that are always oh, yeah. great. He blew himself up. Stop blaming me. Blame him. Stop blaming me. In the end, Anthony blew up the Opie and Anthony show. It's it couldn't be more obvious. Maybe someday, what? someday he'll take a little <laughs> fucking responsibility. Oh, we got more production. Oh. Watch out. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Jesus this is, Christ. It's taking forever. Make it slower. Is my why? Is, is my computer dying? What just happened? <laughs> Why did that take so long to show OP Radio? Oh, oh. God. <laughs> that was almost longer than the clip. Why? <laughs> wow. It's such a great example of where Opie can't keep his story straight. Because like when Anthony got fired, Opie would say, the show was dead anyways. Yes. Opie and Anthony was coming to an end. Yep. But, and now he's like, why don't you blame Anthony? He's the one that ended the show. It's like, well, you said you were ending it no matter what. There's multiple clips of Opie. We've played him on here saying, yeah, I think I'm done with this. I think I'm ready to do something else. I think I'm ready to move yeah. on. And Anthony's you never once talk said politics that. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anthony never once said, I don't want to keep doing this thing we make a couple million dollars a year doing. That's right. super easy right, let's let's stop doing this you know anthony never thought that but i know that anthony addressed this specific clip where he's going i don't even know this guy anymore he's totally changed <laughs> and anthony's take on it was like well all of those people that we were friends with i'm still friends with so right. am i the one who changed or did opie like he's not yeah. sure what he's talking about there and garrett you've known him for a very long time so maybe you can enlighten I us even like uh Sam Roberts was his guy. Like they would hang out right. with yeah. their wives and stuff and all that. And even that blew up. And then back in the day when I was there, like I was the Sam Roberts to hope. Like I would, we would go rollerblading around Central Park every day <laughs> after the show. Yeah. And he would like, what does his breath tell, taste like? What a, what a cute image. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, man. The hill's hard. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but, uh he would always like try to teach me like radio lessons, like uh -huh. kind of like a mentor, but it was always like the same one every time. <laughs> and it, it was always Can just I guess like, what it was, Garrett? He's uh, like, whatever you do, you got to backstab everyone else on the show. <laughs> Tell management they're slacking off. And we don't need them. Tell them over and over again. <laughs> the, the gist of it was like, just keep doing it. Oh God! Oh, yeah, that's no, pretty that good advice. I yeah. hate that. I hate uh -huh. that advice. Uh -huh. <laughs> Stick with it, kid. <laughs> Stick with it. <laughs> was he like that at any W Garrett, where he would go to management and he would be in these moods where he was miserable to work with, or did that come over time? Uh, not so much. It happened like once in a while, kind of thing. Yeah. But even when I was there, like they're never Opie and Anthony weren't like hanging out, even at right. that point. Right. You know, it was always separate. Like we went up to Boston, they'd take separate cars and drive down separately. And I would have to choose like who, oh, who we're going out to dinner with tonight. And there'd yeah, be two yeah. different parties and stuff like that. It was so weird. That is odd. I thought that at that point they were still hanging around each other. 
Well, no, because that's why Norton was brought in, right? Because they weren't speaking to each other? (laughs) Pretty much, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I'm surprised they didn't get along because they both have spicy political takes. And this is a video that, again, I did not put on YouTube. Opie did. He thinks that this is the type of content that's going to get people going, holy shit, i got to check out this show. This is amazing. This is the entire clip that he put up called Our Politicians Are Useless. <laughs> Another mass shooting. What, I mean, what do you want from me? Rinse and repeat. You realize that politicians in general are useless every time there's a mass shooting. You know, <laughs> they're completely useless to try to figure out what to do. Every single one of them. Useless. <laughs> I gotta say, the best take out of all of that was the blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Like, yeah, I get that with that. Yeah. The rest of me is just like, why are you even talking? What's the point you, of even talking if that's your take? You could tell from the comment at the bottom of the screen, that was from a later part in the episode that he edited in. Yeah. Because it goes from the comment about the karate kid. Yeah. Like, well, yeah. And then the blah, blah, blah just jumps in, and then the karate kid part comes back in. Yeah. That took effort to make a 27 second long clip of him going, politicians suck, blah, blah, blah. He had to pull that all together to make it coherent, I guess. I don't know if that's the right word. (laughs) Yeah, not right. I guess you could say he's consistent, but that's been his saying the whole time like, oh, neither side is good. Yeah. It's a bold take. uh, Yeah. (laughs) It's it's a little spicy for my taste. (laughs) I do have to say, though, to his credit, the sound effect at the end almost <laughs> tricked me into thinking he was saying something. I was like, wow, that's a hot take. <laughs> yeah, right. If you had any video with this and you're like, wow. One of them. Useless. Yeah. Whoa, that's that, a guy who's saying something. That's like the yeah. red bar trick, right? <laughs> yeah, like, yes. if, if you're red bar, you just be like, and also Chrissy Mayer is ugly. <laughs> Whoa! He must be right. There's Shout a out explosion. The says. <laughs> what is that microphone with a switch on it? It's like not a. It's yeah, that's that's some a sort of old like timing. accessory mic. I don't even think so. I think no. it's like like a fake microphone that yeah. he didn't even look at what he was photoshopping. <laughs> I think you might be right about that. It's actually a fan that missed. Yeah, that's exactly. It's like a light bulb. Yeah. (laughs) All right. So one of the things that's been going on recently is people are asking Opie about stuttering Jeff. I don't know why they would do that. I have no idea. But Opie offers his thoughts on stuttering John Melendez. And knowing that stuttering John is good clickbait, which, by the way, it is, he decided to put this up as one of these videos. So. If the Howard Stern show ever ends, who's the first guest from that show you want on? Baba Booey, Robin, etc. I don't want to talk to any of them. I've talked to I talked to a bunch of uh, people from Could you imagine him getting Robin Quivers on the show? What the <laughs> fuck would that be like? Holy shit. <laughs> and this idiot. Old. I don't know if he's fucking with them or not, but he's like, oh, what are you gonna get? Baba Booey, Robin's like, there's no way any of those people are talking to Opie. No. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. No, just go for but Howard. I think Howard will do it. Yeah, I'm sure Howard yeah. will come right on. <laughs> the Howard Stern show that were really, really cool. Um, I know he gets a lot of shit, but Stuttering John was very, very cool. I've had him on the podcast a couple times, and I think I was on his uh, once. He was very, very cool. I liked him a lot. Um, I don't really agree with him politically or anything like that. Nobody but, does. Uh, you know, he was a good guy, and he told some great stories. He's a very, very good guest. Um, oh, oh. Yeah, someone asked him if he would do a podcast with Stuttering John, which of course would be my dream come true. It'd be amazing. It'd be it would lighten my workload by fifty percent. I, I have to say though, so I was listening to old because of your show, you've sent me down a rabbit hole of yeah. old Stuttering John on Howard Stern, and there are so many striking similarities between Opie and Stuttering John in their lack of self-awareness and yep. their attitudes and things like that. And the, the uh, self-confidence. You, you can watch their yes. self-confidence leave them as the oh, other yeah. person berates them. They're like, oh, oh, you just discovered completely, that. Completely you just insecure. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> but the, st- the one difference that stood out to me is I do believe it's rare when it happens, but I think Opie is capable of surprising you where he can come out with something you know, mildly amusing or interesting or at least being in a good mood, whatever. Stuttering John will never surprise you. Correct. Whatever you're expecting him to say, he will say. Opie yes. is one of the worst broadcasters I've ever seen, and he's 20 times better than Stuttering John. 
Completely, yeah. <laughs> Did you ever think about joining up with Stir and John doing a podcast? No. There's, <laughs> no. That's another <laughs> assholery thing that Ant's trying to do. He's like trying to lump me and Stuttering John together. Like Ant's trying to do that? I get no credit. <laughs> oh, he's offended by the mere suggestion. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I would be too. But I like that immediately he goes, oh, fucking Anthony Kubi is telling everyone I got to team up with Stuttering John. <laughs> Has that ever been mentioned on the show, Garrett? Well, we played the uh, the clip of if Opie and Sutter and John had a oh, podcast. That's right. Someone made a, a really funny video where yeah. John was talking to a guy named Greg in his chat. And then they put, <laughs> did you see that video, Chris? <laughs> I got going that. back a little way. No, it's pretty new. Oh, I have not seen it's it. It's pretty like recent. I've seen it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. Okay. So, yeah, maybe maybe that is why. Like, we're very different people. Last time I said this, Stuttering John got mad, but. I do think that Stirring John uh, does a decent job, but I just don't. No, you said he sucked. Yeah. He literally goes, <laughs> yeah, we John, we're not even in the same league. I mean, I was the host of a show. John's just a yeah, sidekick. He said, I, I, I broadcast circles around him. Yeah, that's like what that. he said, yeah. right? And, and, and as was, much as I think Opie sucks, to your point, <laughs> yeah. Opie's right. He yeah. went, like, Opie at least had a role on one of the biggest radio shows ever. And I think there were things, as much as like we criticize Opie, there's things on that show, like Opie was great with confrontation, where Anthony and Jim preferred to like just throw lines in. Yeah. Opie was good at knowing how to stir the shit. Stuttering right. John was a call screener yes. who was there to be a punching bag, and he has the ego of someone who was bigger <coughs> than Opie and Anthony in his mind. Well, listen, to be fair, he was one of the co-hosts on the Howard Stern and Stuttering John show. <laughs> oh wait, that's not what it was called. It was never course, called yeah. that. Oh, okay, well, it's my bad. I that's what I do found. Some research. That's what I found in those cli the clips I was watching of old of old Stern was Howard berating John yeah. because John would say, "Well, you're mad at me for this, but you let Robin get away with this, or Jackie, or yeah, Fred." Yeah. And Howard keeps telling him, "You are not in their league, John. You're yes. not the same as them." It's not my cup of tea, and I, it's not my <laughs> type of politics. So, but that's another assholery thing. That the haters and most of the haters are coming from Anthony at this point. I, I barely get any Howard Stern hate with all the shots I take. All my hate comes from a fucking guy that I discovered. <laughs> this <laughs> fucking bullshit. So they try to lump me and Stutter and John together. And they want us to do a show together. First of all, if we did a show together, it would be very, very good. <laughs> it would be very good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it would be good for me. And it would be amazing for you. Yeah. <laughs> we did actually have when Opie was on Stuttering John's Beer on the Balcony. And we had Gino over here. And we had Chrissy. And uh, that was like my Super Bowl. Yeah. Maybe the Olympics. <laughs> it's like once every four years. That was like my Olympics. Very, very special Everyone gets Olympics. Together. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I kind of understood Opie a little bit more from that clip, though. Yeah. Because he, he thinks Anthony is making these clips and making fun of them. He doesn't realize other people are just hating on Opie. And right. Anthony is seeing these other people hate on Opie and then sharing it. You don't, you, you think know? he doesn't realize that? Or do you think he's just trying to like have one person he's against kind of thing to make it easier on him? Oh, I mean, definitely. Oh, he obviously just constantly puts up clips with Anthony and the title yes, and stuff right. just to get clicks. Yeah. yeah. So it's probably both. And <laughs> whether Opie believes it or not, like deep down inside, he's at least convinced himself that the reason guys like you and me, Carl, shit yes. on Opie, is because Anthony has brainwashed us oh my into gosh. hating yeah. Opie. That's you know truly what? what That's believe. a really good point. And Mike, I, I forget about that sometimes. That in Opie's mind, we would all think Opie's amazing if it weren't for, it Anthony, for Anthony having yep. a falling out with them. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, the opposite is true. Opie put out a podcast. I had been spending a couple of years reviewing podcasts every week. And I went, hey, Opie's got a podcast. Let's check that out. And it sucked. <laughs> yeah. and I, <laughs> we I really would say, dissected I would it. say Anthony and Jim for many years brainwa brainwashed me into thinking Opie was more talented than yes. he is. Because totally. they would always defend him on the show Correct. to the point where I was like, well, there's got to be more that I'm not aware of that he does. Yeah, well, you know, he goes yeah. behind their backs and tells management they suck and <laughs> right. they should get fired. Yeah, see, I didn't know everything. <laughs> <laughs> I think the real impetus was when the show broke up, Anthony started tax, and then at the same time that the Reddit 
things started going. And that's when they started hating Opie. And Anth I remember being at Anthony's house, we would read the Reddit, like mm -hmm. laughing about all the Opie. So then Anthony realized like, oh shit, everyone hates Opie. I don't even want to get back with him kind yep. of thing. And let's start, you know, so it wasn't, Anthony had nothing to do with it. He just kind of went with the flow of everyone else realizing it. Cause he's right. finally like, finally someone else could say it, you know? It's funny you say that Garrett, because this is kind of what I've been experiencing now is Anthony has no control over the ONA subreddit. He never did. Yeah. You know, uh -huh. there's, there's a lot of evidence that shows that because they turned <laughs> I don't know. out. They him were too. very nice to him. On <laughs> yeah, there, right. They're really nice to him <laughs> and Jim. You know, they turned out everyone, obviously. But this idea that one person who has a show or a voice is going to get thousands of people online to fall in line with what they want them to do. And all of a sudden, you know, oh, they're, they're, they're all harassing me because Anthony wants them to. It's like, no, they want to do that. That's like, that's yeah. what they, they want to do. And when people are fucking with Suttering John, I've never told anyone to do that. They want to uh -huh. do that. I can't control yeah. that. There's nothing I exactly. can do about it. Uh -huh. <laughs> all right. So let's find out more about uh, Opie and Anthony's relationship because, of course, Opie's been putting up a lot of these videos with Anthony's name in the title in order to get the clicks. Uh, you said and when I say clicks, uh, a couple hundred at best. Some of these yeah. get under a hundred, uh, maybe a thousand for the one where it's like Kumi is a dick or you know whatever he puts in the <laughs> the title. So it's not even like it, it's popular. I can't believe he's putting any effort into this. A guy of his caliber or a guy who used to talk to millions of people. <laughs> he's would, feeding off of a radio show. The the clicks that he would get off of a radio show that hasn't been in existence for eight years. Yeah. Uh, you said you have no regrets, okay? That include Anthony, not trolling. I do like you, but trying to understand as you give out mixed signals. I like how everyone who asks him a question about Anthony has to say, just so you know, I'm not trolling here because he always freaks out. <laughs> oh, everyone's talking about Anthony. Please, <laughs> let me get this out. <laughs> about mixed signals about my relationship. What are you... T oh, God. Who is this Asian guy that I'm looking at right now? <laughs> what happened to his face? Mixed signals. <laughs> I thought I found a. Um, I thought I found a friend. This guy looks like he played a prank in a coke can. <laughs> <laughs> that I could do a lot of great radio with, but I absolutely did not find a friend, and it, and it's, and it and it kind of sucks because uh, we had a massively successful show, but we didn't get along at all, and that's oh. my my dilemma to this day. Yeah, leave it alone, Jim. Mixed signals. <laughs> leave it alone. I knew leave Anthony. <laughs> I knew Anthony. I haven't known him. In the, I, I haven't even talked to him. I haven't even uh, been in the same room as him in over eight years. I, haven't, I don't even know what he looks like. I barely uh, check out what? any of his stuff. It's, uh, it's uh, incredibly rare. It has to be something that falls in my lap, and then maybe I'll, I'll click on it here and there, but it's so rare I can't even tell you. So I honestly don't even know what the guy looks like. And for most of our relationship, <laughs> we absolutely like. <laughs> didn't get along at all. All right. So oh. we're in the mixed signals. <laughs> Opie has always said he respects, he respects uh, and appreciates what Ant and him did and accomplished, but he has no warm feelings towards him anymore, nor any desire to reunite. I haven't had a warm feeling towards Anthony in a very, very long time. I think he did some really, really, really shitty things and and a lot of that happened while we were doing the radio show as the years go by i learned more and more about it and it's unbelievable which is so weird man oh my god we he never good stuff from? yeah i was i was thinking the same thing garrett <laughs> he what? doesn't talk to anyone except pat duffy Right, there you and go. <laughs> he hears from the rumor mill, and then he automatically believes it. I know other people like this, too. <laughs> if they hear something they want to believe, oh, you know what, Anthony, he was telling people he had this uh, fake account on the subreddit, and he would go on there and feed these people, and he's just like, oh, I believe it. It must be true. Yeah, Twitter and his live chat get him gassed up and tell him things, and he thinks <laughs> that's fact. <laughs> Every time, too, he's so easy to fuck with. All these well, guys are so easy to fuck with. What I love out of that clip, though, is the image of maybe Opie and Anthony someday are walking down the street in opposite directions, and Anthony sees his old his old co-host of 20 years and says, Greg, how are you, man? And Greg's like, who the hell is this guy? <laughs> he signs an autograph. He's like, here you go, buddy. All right, all right. Move it along. Uh, another fan, huh? <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> He's like in uh, Brad Pitt now. He's face blind. I don't even know what Anthony looks like. <laughs> who is this man? Which is so weird, man. 
Oh my god, we were never good friends. I I I I I, I can't do this every day. <laughs> Gabriel, I can't do this every day. See, this is this is the mixed signals thing. This is what he's not figuring out is that when he's in a good mood, he'll be like, yeah, let's talk about Opie and Anthony, and yeah, let's, I want to talk all about it. And then other times people are like, hey, man, I miss Opie and Anthony. Fuck you! Yeah. I'm not uh-huh. talking about that today! You fucking past, get away! <laughs> like, What's the title of this clip, by the way? <laughs> this one is called uh, Stop. Stop. I oh, wasn't right, good I was friends say- with Anthony. No, I, yeah, it seems like he really hates talking about it. He's posting <laughs> fucking clips like that about it. I know he posts these things, and you can see that it's all edited. He's pulling all these clips together of all the shit he said about Anthony. He's just like, I hate talking about this, but I'll <laughs> put it on, up for clicks. You're twisting my arm here, guys. <laughs> we're never good friends. I thought we were friends when we first met, and, and in Boston, we certainly got along pretty well. And I, I started thinking that we were friends, but I now question if we ever were friends or if he was just playing me from day one. We were never good friends. You gotta stop. Like I said, uh, a lot of these questions that people want to know the answers uh, to, I, I've uh, I've cut them up into videos. They're on my YouTube <laughs> channel. There's a nice little playlist that's called Opie and Anthony Drama. Okay, but we yeah, were... but it's more fun to fuck with you in real time. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what am I gonna do? Actually, do some research on this? Who cares? Not that interested. <laughs> never good friend. I would I would never consider Anthony a good friend. There, were, there was a time we absolutely got along the first couple of years. And we sur- <laughs> Wait a second. I would never consider him a good friend. Well, I mean, there was a time that we were really good friends. <laughs> Excluding the period when we were great friends, we were never friends. We were friendly toward each other and possibly friends, but I don't know anymore. I don't even know if that was real. <laughs> I like that Anthony was playing this crazy mind fuck game all yeah, along. Yes. <laughs> a sinister mastermind, yeah. Anthony Cumia. I'll take Meanwhile, it back to this guy. The second they moved up to Boston, Opie, Anthony was saying how Opie tr- bought some, like, or not bought, rented a cheap apartment in a ritzy neighborhood mm-hmm. far away from Anthony. So they couldn't even hang out if they, if he wanted to, kind of thing. Well, it's funny because Anthony has always said that Opie wants to be Howard Stern. Yeah, and so that's the reason why Opie has the view that he has that we're looking uh-huh. at right now of the Hudson there uh, from the what is it the, the west side of Manhattan? Yeah, and uh, that's that's near where Howard lives. And uh, Howard recently came out and said that he's going to run for president because of this Roe versus Wade decision. Ah, uh, yes, <laughs> which is an- another annoying thing that we can get into. But so this is uh, Opie responding to that. Oh, Obi thoughts on Howie for Prezi. Uh, Prezi. Oh, you did say Prezi. Okay. Um, it's just stupid. He ain't running for the presidency. You know, the one thing I got to say, Howard Stern is very, I mean, look, he he's a talented guy. I, I just think he's a, a jerk as a person. I, huh. Almost talk, like somebody talk. else that I know. <laughs> <laughs> I think when Opie calls someone a jerk of a person, literally everyone he ever worked with hates his guts. Literally yeah, everyone. Reel it in, Opie. Jesus, a jerk. Let's not get too brash here. <laughs> jerk of a person. Jeez. I like he was he was impressed with Prezi. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, oh, that's yeah. cute. I got to work that in. <laughs> really do. Can I use that? And he's very insecure. <laughs> so let's see. Howard's a jerk. He's insecure. Uh, we said Howard, not you, Opie. Oh, I'm sorry, but. Yeah, he stomped and on someone's cake. His skin is literally. We tried to do this the other day. His skin <laughs> is 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 way less than paper thin. All right, so that's three for three <laughs> yeah, now. Right. Jesus. And I have no respect for the guy because when me and Anthony were battling, we weren't even really battling. We were just trying to make very entertaining radio. And Howard is such a. We were just calling him an asshole over and over yeah. again because it got people listening to our show. I don't know what the problem is. <laughs> it was complete battle right. yeah. on our end. Yeah, and Howard had no smart. response. Which yeah. is, that's what O and A should have done. Like, why yeah. are you denying that that happened? Uh-huh. Yeah, that's weird. Character that it was easy to goof on him and talk about his nonsense on our show, and instead of like going on his show and saying "f those guys" and blah blah blah, and who. How dare this is literally everything he's described right now is him. Right. Every single thing. Cause he's never addressed us when, when people are like, Hey, what do you think about WTP? He's like, I don't know what that is. Yeah. Right. yeah okay. <laughs> sure. If he talks about Howard then- denying the wig allegations, I'll lose. <laughs> hey, he's bald and wanted to think they are. He would, he would march down the hall and yell and scream at bosses to make us stop. 
<laughs> a thing that Opie never did. He would never <laughs> yell and scream at bosses. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> wow. This guy's amazing. So I have no respect for the guy. But as far as him being Prezi, um, he's a very smart marketing guy. He knows how to get his uh, yeah. his name in the papers uh, still. I mean, I call it the papers, but no one's really reading papers. But you know what I mean. Yeah. You're, he's much better at marketing himself than you are at marketing you. Yes. I, was about to say, I suppose that's where the similarities stop. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, I never see Opie trending on Twitter. Every week I see Howard for one reason or another. Here's Opie's COVID thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it sucks. <laughs> he gets the headlines all over, the, all over the internet. So, you know, he announces some dumb thing that he's so frustrated that he might run for the presidency, but he ain't, he's never going to do it. So then he gets headlines for, I don't know. A few days, and then he's got to go back to the lab and figure out how he's going to get his name in the headlines uh, next. And he's very, very good at that. 100%. But he's not going to be our president. <laughs> Take Opie. <Yeah. Boom. laughs> well, I, I don't even feel like Howard is good at it. I like yeah. rarely see clips on Twitter or anything about how he keeps his stuff so locked down. It's hard to even yeah. find well, out about it. He does get headlines, though, Garrett. I do see him trending yeah. on Twitter. And it's funny because nobody listens to his show or watches his show anymore. I don't know anyone. He'll be trending on Twitter, and it's like 4,000 tweets about a take he has on COVID. Yeah. But it's like a couple times a month that'll happen, and I don't understand why. Yeah. Yeah, he PR must have some PR team. Yeah. Because yeah. Yeah. otherwise, who would care that Howard Stern claims he's going to run for president? This was a bit he did 35 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> really? We think we might actually run this time, do you? Yeah. Okay. He's going to fill the potholes with uh, ex-cons. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> And if you listen to the clip of Howard, he's like, Robin's like, oh, you're going to run for president? He's like, oh, yeah. yeah. Like, you know, he's totally <laughs> joke. Yeah. It's not serious at all. I'm and just not the yeah. Uh, I don't think I played this one yet. This is, uh, again, about Anthony Cumia. This one's called Cumia I Knew is Long Gone. Oh, God. Oh, caps. <laughs> Uh, good morning, Obi. You should forgive Anthony and go on his podcast. Oh, Wouldn't no, I did so play that one. Was, yeah. I did play that one. All right. Let's find out uh, how much money Joe Rogan makes per episode of the Joe Rogan experience. Oh, you guys how do you ready? find that out? You guys ready to do some math with Opie? I'd love oh. to. <laughs> we, we should have music for this, math with Opie. <laughs> if Rogan's making $100 million a year, and some say that's a low figure. I'll stop him right there. So the original was $100 million for the whole deal with Spotify. And mm -hmm. then more recently, it's been leaked that maybe it was $200 million, 200, right. But not per year. $200 million, I think, is over like three or four years. Yeah, that was never really said for whatever. The length right. of time, I never heard. But anyway, so Opie's saying $100 million a year, which, by the way, uh, Joe does have advertising, and, and he owns on it, and he's got these other things going. So I'm sure he makes a lot more money than just the Spotify deal, but okay. Of course, yeah. How many shows does he do a year? 52 weeks a year... He probably takes 50 days off. So let's say he does 50. <laughs> 52 weeks a year, 50 <laughs> days off. All right, let's see what he comes up with here. Wait, uh, 200 is shows? It a, no. Is it a weekend, a hundred, 100 days? Yeah, yeah. 104. Yeah, yeah 100, 104, yeah. yeah. All right, so all right. anyway. So, so he's already at. He's already trying to figure out. Now, the funny thing about all of this is that Joe Rogan does not do a five-day-a-week show. He does no. three days a week. <laughs> Not, it's kind of like whenever he wants, more or less. Yeah, but he's been pretty regular with three days a week for a while. Right. And uh, Opie has no idea, even though he thinks that he could will one day overtake Joe Rogan as the king of podcasting. <laughs> he has no idea what's going on. But all right, let's 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 figure out what she's making an episode. Okay. 50, uh, 200 shows? No. No. Wait. 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 52 weeks. Yeah. <laughs> Five days a week. That'd nope. be 260 ish, right? Uh, say he takes the 60 days off during the year. Okay. All right, so say he does 200 shows a year okay. and 100 million dollars a year. Okay, let's see what he goes. So that next. means every month, <laughs> okay, every month. Why is he doing this? He's going days, <laughs> weeks, months. Like, you're making right. you're putting in way too many variables. <laughs> so Joe Rogan is leaving Texas at 3 p.m. <laughs> 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 Holy shit, this is some advanced shit. Joe Rogan is making about $8 million. $8 million and change a month. 
a month. Okay. And then how many weeks in a month? <laughs> <laughs> so now you take that number. This is the quick math. <laughs> now you're he's making about two million a, a, a week. Okay. Holy <laughs> shit. Maybe a little less. Wait. Okay. I can do it that way too. All right. Yeah. A little, a little less than two million a week. Yeah, because it's not four weeks in a month. It's yeah. like four and a half. You know, it depends, right? right? Also, the amount of weeks in a year is fixed. You can just divide a hundred million by fifty-two. Yeah, no shit. I don't know why he went to months and then how many days there are in a month. It's like he keeps changing the parameters on himself. And then quick math on that: five shows a week. It's not quick. He's making. Is it possible that Joe Rogan is making four hundred? Four hundred thousand dollars. Is my math right? Four hundred thousand dollars every time he turns the mic on, and I get assholes getting mad because somebody gave me two dollars. Is all that math right? Did Holy it? shit, that's such a that's stuttering John about. thing. Oh, that's such yeah. a stuttering John thing <laughs> to be like, "Well, Howard Stern made twenty million dollars. Why can't it be a substitute teacher?" No, that's a very those, those are not comparisons. Joe I know to say and, and your fucking Facebook stars are not comparisons at all. I think the equation is exactly correct. If Joe Rogan is making a hundred million dollars, Opie should be making two dollars. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's a just world, isn't it? <laughs> the free market always works. Was anyone else following? Half mil a show. All right. RJ Henners is at a half million a show, give or take. All right. I said 400 and 400 and change. Anyone got 650? Do I hear 650 <laughs> a show? One dollar. <laughs> Whoa, one dollar. All right. Four, two, all right. So quick math. Yeah. Quick math. Ro oh. <laughs> now, in our heyday, we were nowhere near that, obviously. <laughs> I thought my number was impressive, but Joe Rogan is making. Let's cut that down even a little oh bit. Let's say it's between four hundred and five hundred thousand every time he does a podcast. Boom. <laughs> and you were his inspiration. Yeah, you know what? I think Rogan has to, you know, cut me a giant check. I know he's joking there, but that Southern John would literally oh, say God. that. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, that was the reason. And he would want a giant check, one of those big ones. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Can you make it any bigger? I made Joe Rogan. I want to be able to see the check from space. Yeah. <laughs> Give me a week's salary if we, me and Anthony were your inspiration. He does have a week's salary. <laughs> Give me a week's salary. And even though I don't like the guy, and give Anthony a week's salary as acknowledgement that we were your inspiration. No. Some, that's some fun math right there. Holy shit. <laughs> Joe Rogan has acknowledged them as their inspiration by constantly acknowledging they were his inspiration. Well, yeah. He I, says that over and over again. Time out, though. I have to say this, and I've said it before. Joe Rogan has literally said that Anthony was his inspiration because Anthony did a show from, from his basement. Yeah. Yes, the yeah. live from the compound show that Anthony would do when he got drunk at night on the weekends. <laughs> that was the thing that Joe Rogan was like, holy shit, you don't need a studio? You can just broadcast right. and people will see it on the internet? And he said that many times. It's not, he, no, don't get me wrong. He loved the opening Anthony show. He went on that show. He yeah. liked the format of it. But it was Anthony's show that really got Joe Rogan thinking like, oh, I could do my own video show. I don't True. need to be with a company or oh. anything like that. <laughs>